Pick one. A McDonald's burger or Gordon Ramsay's world-class burger? Which is the better quality burger? Well, according to quality guru Philip B. Crosby, quality means conformance to requirements. Not goodness or shininess or weight or luxury or bling. This means a product, service or process should meet its design specifications, which are an interpretation of what the customer needs. So, depending on your needs, Gordon Ramsay's high cost burger is not necessarily a better quality product than a less expensive one with fewer features. So, who is Philip B. Crosby? Born in June 1926, his working life began after tours of duty in the US Navy during World War II and the Korean conflict with an education at medical school in between. Philip Crosby joined the Martin Marietta Company's Orlando plant in 1957, which was responsible for the production of the Pershing missile for the United States Army. Philip Crosby was part of the quality team on this missile program and during its development and production, he established the four principles of zero defects. His four principles became known as absolutes because they had to be met to guarantee a successful quality outcome. The first absolute is quality is conformance to requirements. Here, quality is defined as conformance to both the producer's requirements and the customer's requirements. The second absolute is defect prevention is preferable to quality inspection and correction. Quality control is aimed at detection, finding problems as early as possible and getting them fixed. But what we really want is a means of preventing the problems from happening in the first place. The third absolute is zero defects is the quality standard. The performance standard is zero defects, a commitment to conform to requirements every time. Zero defects needs to be a performance standard for everyone in the company, from top management to workers on the production line. The fourth and final absolute is quality is measured in monetary terms, namely the price of non-conformance. A dollar figure can be established for the cost of quality by determining the difference between the price of non-conformance and the price of conformance. The price of conformance is the expense of doing things right. The price of non-conformance is the expense of doing things the wrong way and can account for 20% or more of sales in manufacturing companies and 35% of operating costs in service companies. Put simply, it's better to do it right the first time than to have to correct mistakes later. Crosby's standards were credited with a 25% reduction in the Pershing Missile Program's overall rejection rate and a 30% reduction in scrap costs. Zero defects meant a better product produced more economically. Zero defects aims to reduce defects through prevention of waste and prevention of mistakes. It is a performance standard that management needs to implement and staff need to adopt to do their job properly and ensure a quality product. To quote Phil Crosby, it's not what people don't know about quality that gets them into trouble, it's what they think they know that's the problem. His subsequent writings about quality and business management have helped to stimulate international interest in the quality field and have lifted the name of Philip B. Crosby to the Hall of Fame as a quality guru.